Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm CJ Miller. I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana, across the Red River from beautiful Bossier City, Louisiana. You'd be able to see if it weren't for the reflection of my uh, tree in the background there. Uh, happy holidays. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, so, well, I don't have any uh, like uh, product holding my hair in place right now. But this is the result, and I'm here to talk about my hair. <laughs> Um, this is the result of a, doing a, uh, yeah, uh, a permanent wave uh, for body, you know, uh, and of course I, I did go a little tighter uh, than probably, um, I, you know, than somebody, you know, I went a little tighter with the, with the knowledge and expectation that in a couple of weeks it'll be a little bit looser. Right now everything's calmed out, it's very loose, uh, but it's uh, holding well in place. Uh, that's kind of cool. It's like, uh, basically, I had it uh, kind of sprayed for the last, uh, I guess this would be day number three. Uh, <laughs> and so, uh, not yesterday. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been over 48 hours. Uh, so somewhere between 48 and 72 hours, it's safe to like uh, wash and comb out and stuff like that. So I've... Uh, uh, washed and uh and uh i actually styled it uh went out earlier in the evening came home and uh brushed out the style so that's kind of cool this is great uh i like the way it looks it's it's kind of old school uh pompadour kind of thing but it suits me well you know and uh to be honest with you i i do not have a lot of hair this is a massive uh kick ass comb over uh, <laughs> and it works. <laughs> uh, I think it does. Uh, like I said, right now there's no, uh, uh, there's nothing really, really, if I shake it too hard, it's going to come loose and everything like that. Uh, there's not a lot of bat brushing in it. If I wanted to bat brush a little bit, I could fill that in a little bit more right there. Uh, bat brush and put a little bit of spray in. It would like totally, uh, cover that, uh, sufficiently enough. And I'm telling you, high definition, normally I'll stop, stop my hair. I think it looks really, really kick-ass and everything like that. And then I get on here and then you can see like everything through my hair. You know what I mean? So what I needed was some body in the hair. And uh, this kind of, this kind of does it. It almost looks like a, it almost looks like I'm wearing a rug. It's not a rug. It's my hair styled in rug style. But uh, yeah, it works for me. Uh, I like it. I, I can live with it. I can live with it. Um, I do, uh, multiple techniques, uh, with my hair to, uh, <laughs> to get it how I want it. And, uh, and then of course you, you really do have to maintain that, but you know, I feel like I'd rather do that than go do some like multi thousand dollar hair system that, that has just never like, even if I couldn't make my hair livable, if I couldn't find satisfaction, I would shave my head uh, bald as a cue, bald as a pool cue, before before uh, I spent uh, thousands of dollars per visit on a fucking hair system, you know, uh, hair system. That means, that means rug, that means... <laughs> either that or extensions put in like a small rug and then extensions put in to fill the rug. Around. This is no, this is, this is all me, but it's like, uh, <laughs> and a pompadour. That's what, that's what men <laughs> in the forties and fifties would call an updo. <laughs> uh, ladies have an updo from the back. Men have an updo from the front to fill in where we lack sometimes, you know, whatever. So whatever. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's only hair. You know what I mean? It's really only hair. Uh, we put so much importance on aesthetics. Everybody wants to look good uh, when they can and everything. And I understand it. I really do. Um, but also, you know, do what you can. Work with what you got. But, uh, you know, it's really what's in the heart. You know, I don't, I don't hang out with people based on how they look. I hang out with people based on the content of their speech, how they treat people, how they, how they treat me, how they are uh, receptive of the way that I'd like to treat them in the kind ways and the, the goodness of the heart. That's what really matters. You know? That being said, 
I also uh, like to do creative things with my hair. You know, a uh, long time ago, I was a cosmetologist. If you, if I gave the the list of the the various jobs now, right here, maybe I need to put a little spray on. I don't mean I need to go around looking like a, a you know. <laughs> That's a little bit of a finger style in there. No, I I don't need to go to go around looking like a, a, a witch with my hair. Yeah. You know, but anyway. Um <laughs> what uh what uh what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, no, it's really it's a matter of uh the heart. That's what's important about people anyway. Um I like to do creative fun things though. I mean, that's cool. I, I have a uh I like to do fun things with my wardrobe. I don't, I don't dress, uh, uh, you know, to impress when I'm sitting around the apartment or anything like that. And it's, it's very mood dependent, you know, what, what I'll, what outfit I'll, I'll, you know, put on, but yeah, I really, I kind of like to, you know, uh, you know, get a little weird sometimes with my outfits or whatever. I'm aware of it. It's fun, you know? Um, I think when people get so wrapped up in being image con- image conscious, and I can catch myself uh, falling into that trap also, but it's you know so much so that we can uh, forget to have a good time with life because we're so concerned with how we look and everything like that. You know, I'm in my fifties. I I think I I think I do all right for being a guy my age. You know, and uh, yeah. Uh, 